Okay, so today we're going to be going over a board that had really, really heavy, nasty liquid damage, and you could, you're going to be able to see it in the microscope over here that even after ultrasonicing, it's kind of a steaming pile. So let's go over some of the things that we should do to figure out what's wrong with this. So what would you check first? PP bus G3 hot. So let's see what power we get there. Thing. That's because I turned on the camera. All right. 12.5. What power rail should we check next? PP5 VS5. Let's see what we get. Zero volts. What do you think we should look at the area? I do. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Looks pretty good, right? True, but we should still measure. If it looks good, it is good. No, it's not. No, it's not indeed. So what we're going to do over here is go and see what we measure. So let's see what's supposed to show up there. So according to board view software and PDF, we're supposed to get PP5 VS5 over here, which we don't, and then we're supposed to get PP bus S5 HS other iSense over here. Now, P bu PP bus S5 HS other iSense is actually a derivative of PP bus G3 hot. So let's see if that's what we get when we measure with the multimeter. Zero. But PP bus G3 hot is present over here. So if it's present over here, but it's not present over here, what do we do? Run a trace. Run a trace. They From where? There. From over here, all the way to here? Or the From here to over here. Correct. Have fun. Oh. All righty. So where are you going to be running your wire from? There. From there? All the way over to there. So the top cap. Excellent. So right answer. So, so right over here. So the wire is going to go from there to here. And this. What's that smell? Hmm? It smells something burning. Oven. Oh. Sharky. Sharky! He was sitting on the metal. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sharky almost killed you. Ah! <laughs> Sharky, that's mean. Get out of here, Sharky. You know I, I support Poor Sharky. He almost died. What you're going to do is you're going to try to actually solder it there while it's not stripped. And in moving the iron back and forth along the enamel of the wire, it's going to get stripped and soldered at the same time. So you kind of want to do it all in one, kinda one movement, as silly as that sounds. Because this way you're actually going to get a wire that's, that's cut to perfect length and stripped. So take the wire, put it to the fuse. Is that flat enough or no? Well, you, you pull it. Just pull, pull the wire over to the fuse. So get the fuse back in view. With the fuse in view, now pull the wire. Now you now use the soldering iron to press the wire to the fuse and just have the board a little bit lower so I can see it on the monitor up here. And now use the iron to kind of push the wire into the fuse. Now do that and make sure it's tight. Make sure it's nice and connected. Is it connected to the capacitor on the other end yet? All right, so yeah, so pull it nice and tight, and then just add solder. Now, it's not going to be soldered perfectly, but at the very least, you have it in place, and you've stripped, it a, you've stripped the enamel coating a little bit in the meantime. I'm going to show you what the whole point of this is in a second. So, grab some solder. White cloud. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Open broadcaster is killing me. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. What a mofo. Let me see the mouse. 
let's see what happens before I show you how I can make that wire look a little neater. All right. Let's see if we have PP5VS5. We do. But the rest is missing. Because this board is a steaming pile of shit. So, to go over the rest of this lovely motherboard. So it looks like this, and this, and above all it has a bunch of stuff that looks like this. Now when you go home and you realize that a motherboard has, let me just unplug it before I do this, that it has these little, not only is it totally ripped, but you can see the layers are fragmenting off of the board like this and it seems like somebody just took a knife to it. Okay. Are you going to spend six hours trying to fix this or are you going to say no? Exactly. I am glad you are learning. This is bullshit. But we did get to show you, see you run a jumper wire, which was... All right, so let's, let me show you how that, that, that jumper on this totally fucked board can be made a tiny, tiny bit neater. I'll show you. You can still see the complete outline of the wire, and it just doesn't kind of mesh into the capacitor. So some flux. And a tiny, tiny bit of solder. Let's see. Yeah, so it is cool. So it just came out. But oh, watch. I had I had a little bit of extra solder over there. Obviously, this is a total waste of time because this is dead. But this, so see how now see how the wire is kind of now meshed into it. Because instead of using instead of using the tip of the iron, I'm using the elbow. So see that there's like there's the tip of the iron, and then there's this elbow over here. And if you use that, you get you can heat the entire thing. So instead of just heating a little bit of the solder, you're making a perfect perfect joint. If it looks good, it probably isn't.